and exploded. Oh, wait, mainlings have kill count? What? Whatever. I wonder, like, if if they explode, will there be a split second? It'll be like four kills dead. I, you know, I don't know. I doubt it. I think that's just like transferred from when they're zerglings. You know, who knows? I'm sure there are people out there. I know, actually. And mutas are on the way. Um, it's 14 minutes. And how many times have I told you guys nine, nine and a half minutes to get missile turrets up? And do I listen to myself? No, I do not. And in fact, these are, these are even going the long way. So it doesn't look like they're going to get here till about the 14 and a half minute mark. And I am just now getting an expansion. Um, I have no minerals to get those missile turrets up. And once I saw all those zerglings and banelings, I should have assumed that mutas were on the way since no roaches were on the field. So in come the mutas. Um, he's doing... Yeah, they're they're just wiping stuff out right now. Marines trying to come in, trying to save those SCVs way too late, and these guys will run off scot free, no problem. He's got, uh, he's still got the huge army advantage over me. I'm gonna say that's a huge advantage, even though it's you know relatively close. It looks like about 400 total resources in difference, but he's got over a thousand more in the minerals. And here I go for an expansion. I'm tr I'm really acting out of desperation here, but those mutas come in and take that out. Well, first I take out the SCV, and then I stupidly think literally I I got here and selected it, I believe. And that did not cancel. I might have not gotten around to selecting it, but I definitely thought about it. Trying to move my marines down here because I do know that the mutas are no longer going to be harassing down at my main base. Um, he's once again killing me in terms of APM. And killing me in pretty much every other category as well. Oh, uh, no, I do have a larger... I do have the larger army, it looks like. It looks like I had it the entire time, so I don't know what I'm talking about and don't and forgot what color I was. Mute is hanging out over here. Not quite sure what's up. And he's going for a second expansion here, and now roaches are coming out. So he's pretty much got all the tier 1 that he can do, maybe even some tier 2. Um, so... Yeah, those Mutas are tier 2 uh, with that layer tech, but the, everything out of the hatchery that he could get, and these Marines, he could, he might be able to handle those Marines with these Marauders, but it doesn't look like he wants to engage them whatsoever. He just wants to harass me, and he's doing a great job of it. I, I mean, I, he's... He's pretty much stopped my mining altogether um, just now. Like, oh, that's right, you guys need to do something. Missile turrets are coming up at my expansion. No use getting them here uh, to protect, what, 80 minerals? That's not, it, you know, one missile turret is spending too much to protect 80, 80 minerals. So he's got three bases. Not that great a saturation at either one, so I am not as behind as I thought when I was playing this game, but really the early aggression um, was a lack of early aggression from me when I did have the larger army because of what had happened to me in previous games pretty much um, is what is what has doomed me from the start and has sent me turtling into my base, uh, staying on one mining operation here, one mining base, as he's got three up and running. Although this one's not really running. It is up, though. And here I'm going for a push. It's pretty much my last-ditch effort. Um, he is sending mutas back in to do some harass. But I did get missile turrets up, and that is going to scare him off. So I'm getting my army over. Hopefully there aren't too many banelings. Oh, look. there. There's a ton of banelings. 24. Oh, my gosh. 32, 35 banelings. So I, when I get here and I see the roaches, I'm thrilled. I'm ecstatic. Just roaches? Great. 
Oh, banelings. So in come the banelings. I am able to get most of them before they start doing serious damage to the army, but eventually they start go getting in and do a lot of damage. Meanwhile, the the mutas were able to position themselves here because I did have no army here, and they took out the orbital command, and now they're going in for reinforcements. I, of course, have no anti-air left in my attacking force, just marauders and siege tanks, so this attack is doomed. Um, am I able to take this base out? Yes. I am able to take it out before these mutas finally put an end to this, but really I've got no mining, so I've got no chance of recovering from this. But I had hoped that this was his only mining facility. I did not know about this expansion, and I didn't know that he actually had so many minerals left in his main base. I always forget that about Zerg players, that they do not mine nearly as fast as Terran or Protoss because um, they need expansions um, so that they can get more units, so they don't spend as much on drones, and they spend more on zerglings, roaches, any kind of attacking units takes away from what they can get from drones, and I always forget that, therefore, um, you know, the mining isn't going to come out as fast. He did get two, um, of evo chambers up, evolution chambers, but he's not really using them at the same time. And here I'm pretty much down uh, to uh, nine uh, marines, four marauders, up against 20 roaches and nine mutalisks. And a zergling somewhere. Uh, he's on the Zalmanga Tower, so he's had that almost the entire game. A stim going down because I, I, I just hope that this is all he's got in the attack. But no, the Mutas are just hanging out in the back. Um, I think he was hoping that the, the, the Roaches could focus down the Marines and then he could swoop the Mutalisks in and wipe out the Marauders. But that is not how it worked. And a Thor is out, so I was able to scrounge together uh, enough money for a Thor, but without any kind of support, that Thor is just doomed to die. You know, even though it does 30 damage uh, twice, against ground units and uh, oh my goodness four attacks so 48 damage against mutilus but all these roaches all these roaches are going to kill me it is only a matter of time all I've got is this one facility here I, I'm still getting gas off of this I, I've I have the rally point set here, but there's really nothing I can do. Uh, he's got the army, he's got the income, it, he just needs to move in, and here it comes. Or able to get a couple kills in before he goes down. It looks like he's able to get four in, and I am forced to GG, and that is the game. So there we go, another game against a Zerg player in which... Um, Really, my the, the instincts, based on uh, on what happened in past games, really hindered my progress in this game. Um, I need to learn to to let what has passed passed, and uh, try to focus on the games one at a time. Not think about what has happened before. With um, although the block off was probably a good idea. I need to, to keep in mind that if I do have this big ball of units, I do need to use it and not just turtle up and just hope that he didn't go for the fast expansion like he did. Uh, so that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.